Hello, welcome back to another episode of Coda Size. In this video, I'll be introducing the concept of a headless CMS and what that means for developers. This is the first video I'm releasing uh, where we're going to be building a fully functioning subscription e-commerce website using Gatsby and Contentful. Let's get into it. So what is a headless CMS? Um, in simplest terms, it's a CMS without a head. Uh, a head being the front end layer of code, e.g. a post template or a page template. Um, it's a modern approach to dealing with content that needs to go to different destinations like websites and apps. Uh, traditionally using uh, APIs, so using RESTful APIs, or, uh, most of them are now offering GraphQL as well. Um, a lot of traditional CMSs have moved into this uh, space and started offering this now. So you'll also hear the term decoupled CMS as well. And if you've used one of those normal CMSs like a WordPress, a Drupal or Sitecore, you're going to be familiar with most of this. Um, so what makes a CMS headless? Uh, they don't have a concept of templates or a template renderer. Uh, you're going to be building content models in an admin section and then building a separate front end to be able to handle the display to users. Uh, they can be self-hosted like Strapi or a managed platform like Contentful or Prismic. And really this comes down to like cost and budget. If you're happy to pay for like fully managed, gonna do everything for you, then go with a Contentful. If you're someone that likes to manage servers, you wanna have a bit more control, then Strapi is a great place for you to sit in as well. Pick the right tool for your budget and your skill level. Uh, space is new, so there's a lot of businesses starting up and you're gonna be able to find uh, a whole bunch of different companies even after this video comes out. Uh, each CMS has its own way of working, but they all ultimately follow the same principles, which is an admin section, outputting content to an API. Um, and a headless CMS um, should prevent your, your front end becoming this big monolithic beast. Uh, because you're not trying to push content into so many different platforms, you're able to let the admin side of things handle that and you can spin up as many front ends as you need. So why do you wanna use a headless CMS, right? So you can move your content anywhere. So uh, websites, apps, message boards, marketplaces, anywhere you're taking your content can come along for the ride. Um, and if you're someone like me and you've had my work experience, you've probably worked with marketing teams that's won a hundred different brand sites and you end up managing all these different instances of uh, probably WordPress. Um, if you're using a headless CMS, you can let those uh, that marketing team into your headless CMS, let them create their content blocks in a space, and then you can spin up um, bespoke front ends as you need them for each uh, use case. This means your front ends remain small and you have a nice, uh, big, comfortable to use headless CMS. Um, you're not limited to websites, so stick your content anywhere you want. Um, this also allows us to use the right technology for the job. Uh, so right now, Gatsby and Next are two really common frameworks in the space, um, but that might change in the future. And if you're using a headless CMS, as those changes, as those new tools get released, you'll be able to transition to them and be able to set up uh, new sites using more modern technology. Um, of course, there are a few things to watch out for when you're going with a headless CMS. So they're much harder to get started with than a traditional um, CMS. And there's not gonna be anything pre-built for you. There's no like theme you can buy. You can't just install the base version and be good to go. You're gonna need a development team and that could be uh, internal or an agency. And that's something to consider the resources that you have. Um, and ultimately you might not need it. If you're someone that is building like a five page brochureware website, stick with a WordPress, buy a theme for $15 and you're gonna be fine. Um, my advice is um, if you're working for a business that has had a traditional CMS build for a while and you're kind of struggling to manage it, it's a bit slow, it's become um, really difficult to, to work within, then a headless choice is probably a, a good way to go for you. Um, if you're interested in getting started, you want to hop into the Jamstack space, you want to figure out um, how to work with headless CMSs, first of all, you're going to need some development skills. Um, I recommend at least a minimum of an intermediate understanding of JavaScript Ajax and how APIs work. Familiarity with tools like Gatsby and Next will help, but they're not required. Uh, you'll learn that along the way. Uh, Jamstack.org is a great uh, resource on how to get started in the Jamstack space and different tools available to you. Be aware that it is run by Netlify, uh, who are a company working in the space. So some of the content might be a bit biased, uh, but overall they're pretty generous to open source tooling. So I think it's worth recommending. 
Uh, secondly is Cooper Press. So they have a newsletter called Jamstacked. If you're uh, unfamiliar with Cooper Press, they have a lot of different technology emails. Uh, Jamstack goes out every two weeks and it will give you different articles and news happening in the space. Uh, very rare to get something via Cooper Press that's like low quality or not great. So uh, definitely worth uh, checking them out. Uh, the next sign up for different platforms. So Contentful, Prismic, they've both got free plans. You can hop in, have a play around, see how they work, uh, explore the, the platform and what you can do in them. Uh, Strappy, that's an open source tool. You can just download that and run that yourself. Um, you'll be able to get a feel for it and kind of see what you like and don't like about each platform. Um, and if you've made it this far in the video, I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, if you do enjoy this sort of content, then subscribe and follow my next project, which is uh, going to be building a subscription service website using Contentful and Gatsby. I'll show you how to take pages from a design through a fully functioning e-commerce website. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.